Welcome back, everyone, to Mr. Dobson's English on our teaching website. Okay, Nick Matova Zita's website, Mr. Dobson's English. Oh, I have a student. Can you introduce yourself, please? Hello, everyone. My name is Daniel Dobson, and today I'll be joining. I'll be joining your teaching uh, class. Yes. So you are my student today, but. All my students are from all over the world, and I want you to join today's lesson, okay? So today's lesson is going to be about Mr. Dobson's lesson plan is going to be about number two, Canadian culture. It's a four-part series. Lesson one was Canadian animals, and today we're looking at Canadian culture. Okay, so here we go with Canadian culture. Okay, Daniel, do you know anything about Canada? I actually know quite a lot about Canada. Oh, very good. So I hope you can, you can help teach the lesson, okay? So here yeah. we go, here we go. We are going to look at can everyone see that? Okay. Yep. We're going to look at, um, we're going to say some Canadian culture and icons. Icons are things that would represent Canada. Like, for example, the symbol. What is this, Daniel? Uh, this is the maple leaf. It is the national symbol and uh one of the and one of the natural beauties in of canada yes yes if you look at the canadian flag you will notice that the canadian flag has a maple leaf as our center because it symbolizes the environment so the the maple leaf is our national symbol on our flag oh who is this lady? Uh, that is uh, the queen. Yes, because Canada, of course, has a connection with the queen. We are in the Commonwealth. And of course we are independent, but you'll notice that she is, she is actually on our money as well. The queen of England, Queen Elizabeth. Obviously some people did not want her as the queen, so they moved into America. So the USA was against the queen and Canada was for the queen. Oh, what is this, Daniel? Uh, that is bilingual, bilingualism, uh, English and French. So there are two national languages in, in Canada. So yes. people in Canada speak English and people in Canada also speak French. Da Daniel, you, can you speak English very well? Yeah, I could speak English quite well. Uh, can you speak French? Uh, bonjour, uh, je m'appelle Daniel et, et uh, j'adore uh, le pizza. Wow. Uh, I don't know what you said, but uh, I do know that you speak English and French. Can you speak Bahasa? Uh, Slamat malam. Uh, saya mastanel et Saya Lampar. Oh, you're an amazing, amazing boy, Daniel. Okay. A little bit. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's only, go to the. Only speak go. a little. Well, you can speak more than me. This next <laughs> slide is very interesting because it shows the space in Canada versus other countries. Now, if you look at the population density uh, in Canada. In one, in, 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 in one square kilometer, that's a square kilometer, in one square kilometer in Canada, in one square kilometer in Canada, you will have three people. However, if you go to Hong Kong and in uh, one square kilometer, there will be 6,300 people. And in Indonesia, well, because Indonesia like, has, if you look at all of Indonesia, we'll have a 138 people per square kilometer. Is that a lot of people in, uh, in Canada, Daniel? 
there is not a lot of people in Canada. No, it's pretty much empty compared to uh, Hong Kong. Uh, it is now, because Canada is really big. Yes, but if you, if I mean, if we, if we looked at Surabaya or Jakarta, I mean, it would be, it would be almost similar to Hong Kong. There would be thousands and thousands of people per square kilometer, thousands and thousands. But Canada really has a lot of space, and I think that's one thing that I I like about Canada is it's very big and open, and not too many people. Oh, which brings me to this slide, multiculturalism. What does that mean, Daniel? Uh, that means there are uh, different cultures in Canada. There's uh, different ethnicis ethnicities and uh, different religions. So there are a lot of different people that live in Canada. Yeah, so if you look at the classroom here, if you, this is a classroom, you have um, uh, different uh, uh, people from different cultures. You'll have cultures of uh, black girls and Asian boys, Chinese girls. Uh, you'll have everyone. Everyone is from around the world and, and multicultural. We, we love it. That is the culture of Canada. Because everyone's different, that is what brings us together, is that we are very multicultural. And that is our strength. Okay, public health care. Canada's public health care is very, very good. If you go to a doctor in Canada, how much money do you need to pay, Daniel? You don't pay anything because the health care in Canada is free. Yes, so the doctors, the doctors are free, the hospitals are free, and it's a very good quality, uh, very good care. Although um, it could be a little slow, but generally very good health care in Canada. Oh, I'm getting hungry. <gasps> That's my favorite. That is maple syrup. It's yes. a sweet and delicious uh, sauce that you put on uh, many dishes that are favored in Canada, yeah, Canada it, like it pancakes. Comes, exactly. And it comes from here. This is where, that's a maple tree. And on the tree will be the maple leaf. So the tree, the tree, you will put this pail on the tree and you will collect the syrup. You will collect, collect the syrup from the tree. And, if, and then you will put that on your uh, pancakes. There we go. I know mom loves to to make uh, some of her dishes with maple syrup. Yes. Oh <gasps> my goodness. What I is changed that? my mind. This is my favorite. What is uh, that? This, that is poutine. It is a very famous uh, cuisine in Canada. It is French fries with gravy and cheese and meat right, and ketchup, geez. just everything. Yeah, you'll see French fries. You'll see uh, gravy. You'll see uh, cheese. That's called poutine. Poutine is typically, uh, I mean, people say, what food is Canadian? And, and this is it. I wish we had more dishes uh, other than uh, um, beaver burgers or moose what? steaks. Beaver burgers or moose steak. Ha, ha, ha. We will have poutine, which is uh, very famous in Canada. Poutine, very good. I love that poutine. Okay, I, I think we're gonna have to have some. Has mom made poutine, Daniel? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, let's let's get mom to make in a video. In the past, let's get mom to make a new video, uh, poutine, and uh, let's show our our uh, her viewers on uh, how that is. We'll show oh. them how tasty it. Oh. <gasps> Tim. I changed my mind. That is my favorite. <laughs> in Canada, we do not have Starbucks. We do not have Starbucks in Canada. We no. have Tim Hortons. We have Tim Hortons. No, Tim Hortons. I love the Timbits. Yeah, Tim Hortons is a coffee shop. And the coffee shop will have, um, of course, donuts. And the donuts are down here. You see that where the donuts are? And they are... Uh, I know I know my children love these things called Timbits. Pastries. Yes. B basically it's a it's a it's a coffee shop founded by the famous hockey player Tim Horton. Yes, yeah, so Tim Hortons is Canadian's uh, Canada Starbucks and uh, 
It's always fresh. It's very good coffee. And Tim Hortons are what Canadians like to drink for coffee. Yes. But I like and Indo eat. I like, I'm going to be honest. I like Indonesian. I think Tim Hortons will use Indonesian um, coffee beans. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Oh, what oh. are they doing, Daniel? Uh, they are camping in the wild. Yes. Uh, camping uh, is something we do in Canada in the summertime. Um, you look at the, the fir trees, uh, the outdoors. That looks probably around uh, Banff, probably around uh, Jasper. This is actually where we are going to be living, Daniel. We are going to have a house, well, not, not in this area specifically, but in this region. When we move back to Canada, we are going to be going camping. And what are they doing over here? Uh, they are making a fire pit. Yes, it looks like they're having a fire at the campground and they're maybe going to cook their uh, dinner on the open fire. It's really um, a good way to spend time with the family outdoors in Canada camping. We love camping. I know Indonesians love camping as well, actually. I think our culture is a lot in is similar in many ways. Oh, but I'll tell you, this is something that Indonesians do not have. That's snow. And, and if, you have, if you have snow, you will need to wear this. And that is called a toque. And because Canada, it would be very cold in the winter. And we call it the toque. And it's a Canadian hat in the winter. Do you have a toque, Daniel? Um, I don't think I have a toque because no, you don't. No, I, I don't go to the snow. No, we've been we've seen snow. You've seen snow once, and uh, um, once. we're gonna, we're gonna see it again soon enough. Yay! Yay! What is this? Yeehaw! He's on the. That's the Calgary riding. Stampede. Yes, that is. Uh, we are going to be living uh, in around Edmonton. Uh, this is the uh, a city that's maybe a few hours away, and in the summertime they have a stampede. It's a rodeo. It's a festival. And of course, it's in Alberta. Our, that's going to be our home province, uh, the Calgary Stampede. And that's, um, I want, I encourage you to try this, Daniel. Do you think you could do this? No, I'll just fall off. <laughs> <laughs> You'd fall off the, fall off the I horse? I would fall off. And yep. I'm going to suggest if you fall off the horse, you get back on the horse. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And fall again. Yes, this is the Rocky Mountains. This is where the, they were camping. Do you remember being there, Daniel? Yeah, I remember seeing the mountains and enjoying the views. We were there, I believe, four years ago. The Rocky Mountains are um, Canada's jewel. I mean, it really, this water was green. You know, the water here was green. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, it's a really gorgeous range of mountains along Canada's west. You know, BC, Alberta, and Yukon, the Rocky Mountains. Very, very beautiful. Yes. Uh, do you know where this is? Uh, that's the CN Tower. It is the symbol of Toronto, and it's uh, a really tall building. Yes, it's 555 meters. It's one of the, the world's tallest towers. It's in Toronto, which is quite far from where we would live. But uh, this is where um, the, uh, the, you would go. If you go to Toronto, you would go up here. Uh, do you remember scenes that had a glass bottom there? Yeah, and We were I looking remember. down. And this is where they play the baseball and they play uh, uh, the NBA. And the Blue the, Jays. Yes, and the Toronto Raptors play around there. Yes, the CN Tower. Very beautiful. It does look quite nice. Oh, my goodness. The Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. I uh, remember one, that. Yes. Didn't one your of, students go there? Well, I went there with some students, yes, but um, uh, we went. Did you go there? Yes, I remember going there. I yes. also remember being on that boat in the picture. Yes, we. this is called the, the Maid of the Mist, I believe, or the... Yeah, the Maid of the Mist. The Maid of the Mist. Um, anyway, we went in that boat and you went under the falls 
and you really got uh, wet. Wet. Yes, it was. It was absolutely soaked. And I, I believe what I like about this is the the night at night they will they will put the, the lights on the falls and um, to make it uh, very colorful, and very beautiful. Uh, that's Niagara Falls. Yes, that of course is in Ontario, quite far from quite far from our house. Okay, these are called igloos. And what is an igloo, Daniel? Uh, igloo is a traditional homemade. Uh, a house made from snow. Yes, it's the snow that the native uh, Canadians uh, the the uh, the uh, they would make uh, in winter time to keep and warm. Yes, you think for that you th exactly. You think that uh, you would be cold if you ever slept out in that that weather, but no, not at all. The traditional house made of snow. Can you make this in Indonesia? No. It'll, it'll just melt. <laughs> it would, you would melt. And look at the snow. We have cold winters, okay? Five months of the winters. November, December, January, February, March. It was actually minus 63 uh, in um, what, at the coldest temperature ever had. Generally, minus 15 uh, in the winters. Lots of, can you go get the car? I don't think I could. You, it's yeah. just frozen. No, well, you have to take all the snow off the car, and then, and you then you'd have to shovel the, the the ground to keep to keep it clear. Shovel the snow to get the snow out, and then you'd have to let the car warm up for fifteen minutes. It would be quite a quite a challenge to uh, even mm -hmm. get your car going. Yeah. Okay, this is hockey. This is what Dad loves. It's our national sport. Uh, it's played mm -hmm. in the winter. Um, and um, this is the Vancouver and Montreal and Toronto playing. But personally, I like the Winnipeg Jets, but uh, they're not playing right now. Our hockey, our sport is uh, uh, on ice, so to speak. Okay, what are these? Uh, those are totem poles. Yes. They are uh, sacred animals carved onto poles by yes. uh, native Canadians. Aboriginals, Aboriginals, uh, First Nations people. And that is actually the real Canadians, the, 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 the First Nations people. I would, of course, my, my ancestors have come from England and moved to Canada. But these are the people that, that have lived there. It's beautiful, beautiful artwork. Oh, these are the Mounties, the RCMP. Royal the Canadian Royal Mountain. Canadian Mountain Police. Yes, the RCMP. In the USA, they will have the CIA or the FBI. The USA will have the FBI, but in Canada we have the Mounties, the RCMP. So they are the police. So you'd be very nice to them, and they still ride on horses sometimes, not often. Again, this is another pastime that we do in the summer: hunting and fishing. Basically, um, I'm not one for hunting, but I am one for fishing. I love fishing; it's a very good pastime to do. Have you gone fishing before, Daniel? Uh, once. Yes, we once. have been fishing. There we go. Okay, again, th these are the First Nation people. Uh, there's many tribes in Canada that were rich in Aboriginal culture. and are, These are the real Canadians, the First Nations people, okay? And I sometimes we have to remember that Canada is their land, the First Nations people. Canada has a lot of natural resources. Do you know some of the resources there, Daniel? Uh, that on the top left, there, that is gold. Top oh. right, uh, wood. Yeah. The bottom left is oil. That's that's how you power your cars for fuel. And the bottom right is water, yes, which you we... use to shower, to drink, to wash your hands. Yeah, Canada's really blessed with many natural resources. Uh, uh, Canada. Um, has a lot of resources. We, we, we're, we're very good there. So we're, we're well stocked up with resources. Uh, curling is another sport in Canada. Uh, people like to, to sh sh play that. Um, backpacks and flags. That's what I like since being overseas. I can always put on a backpack. I can always put on a flag on my backpack. And Canadians, I, I, I like it. Uh, we're very well respected, you know. 
that's one thing I like about it. You know, is that we can wear a flag on a backpack and we can be a, we can be avoid being mistaken for other nationalities. Oh, you know, so, oh, oh, you're Canadian. Oh, okay, you're Canadian. That's that's great. Right. So, uh, what is this, Daniel? Uh, that is uh, the Quebec Winter Carnival. On the left, uh, that is um, a type of activity uh, I think is a sleighing, where you slide down a, a, a no, slope. No, that's not sleighing. That would, that, no, that's not sleighing. Sleighing is when it's you're pulled like by a horse. I would say that that's tubing almost. They're in a oh, big yeah, tube. tubing. Sorry. Yeah, they, it's okay. tubing. Yes, they're tubing. I remember uh, uh, going tubing in, um, was it Whistler? Yes. Yes, it's very exciting. It's like it's like going down a um, a water slide, but it's snow, so all the snow will get in your face. It's quite quite exciting. A lot quite of, uh, fun, yes. Yes, winter winter can be cold, but you can have lots of fun in it. Okay, this is Alexand Alexander Graham Bell. He invented the telephone. Okay, the telephone was invented by a Canadian. That's why I believe. Uh, Canadians are always on the telephone. <laughs> I'm just joking. But uh, yes, uh, the telephone comes from Canada. This is James Cameron. He's done many films. Terminator, Avatar, Titanic. He's a film director. Do you know who this person is, Daniel? Uh, that is Keanu Reeves. He's a famous actor that uh, in uh, lots of uh, movies like um, uh, John Wick. And if you might know that, John and the, the Matrix. Matrix. Yes, yeah. yes. He, of course, is Canadian. Yes. How about him? Uh, that's Jim Carrey. Uh, yes. He's a comedian and an actor. Yes, he is from Canada as well. Um, and of course, the Titanic is a great. Yes, who is that? Uh, she's a Celine Dion. She's a sing. Uh, uh, um, she's a very good singer. Uh, she's mm -hmm. French, actually. She only started learning English in high school. She's uh, from the part of Canada that is French. Celine Dion. Uh, oh, this is Terry Fox. Terry I, Fox. I know him. Okay, so do you know do you know the story of Terry Fox? Um, not really, but uh, I do know what happened. Uh, okay. He had a he had a disability. Yes, he had a and disability. He was an athlete. He, yeah. He's an athlete and he had a disability. And, well, basically the disability is he, he, he got cancer. Uh, so I wouldn't really say a disability, but he was a person that, that got cancer and he lost his leg to cancer. And um, because of that, he decided to do something uh, meaningful. Uh, he ran what was called a marath marathon of hope. He decided to run across Canada, to go from one side of Canada and run all the way to the other side uh, to raise money for the uh, Cancer Society. And actually, he's from Winnipeg, Manitoba, so, and he started to run across Canada, and what happened is he didn't make it. He didn't make it, he, he passed away. And it's very sad that, but he, every year there's always a Terry Fox run, and he's really inspired a lot of people. He's going to be on our money very soon. He's going to be on the on the five dollar bill very soon. Terry Fox, a very uh, inspirational person, who when something went wrong with him, he turned around and tried to make his life or tried to make something meaningful of his life. You understand that, Daniel? Yeah. Uh, these are the Inuit. They are the the northern people that would make igloos. Uh, they are. Um, they are from the Yukon and the Northwest Territories. They do very beautiful uh, uh, soap uh, uh, carvings, very, very beautiful, very expensive, very nice. The Inuit, uh, yes. Fur traders. These are the historical hunters and trappers that uh, have come from, um, the, 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 that would have picking up. What would they be hunting, Daniel? Uh, they, I think they'd be hunting uh, like seals or uh, I would say beavers. Narwhals. Justin Bieber's. They would be looking for 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 uh oh, for seals. Yes, for they look for the beaver pelts to make the hats. Look at his hat. They would maybe make a hat out of a beaver fur 
So that's why they came to Canada in the first place, because they came here to get those pelts to take them back to England. Uh, so, so they liked, so that's why they kept sending ships over, yes. Uh, this is uh, me, Mr. Dobson, is that right? <laughs> uh, no, it's a lumberjack. Lumberjacks, lumberjacks are uh, people that uh, chop down trees. Yes, they do. They chop down the trees and they, uh, they, they uh, work in the forest industry. I think we're coming to the end of our program here. Uh, we also have the gold miners. These were people that were, would come and uh, they would prospect. They, they would, would mine gold. They would, as yes. Canada, as we said earlier, were rich in many resources that included gold. Yes, of so course. That's so that's why they came here yeah. to earn money. Exactly. They came here to earn money and to mine gold. Uh, of course, we have the Mounties again. I'm going to say bye-bye to them. We've said that it's already. the police. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. That's beautiful. Those are the northern lights. The northern They're lights. They're a spectacular natural light display in the northern skies. Yes, you can Just see this. See, amazing this, this is the the night sky if you live in the north part of canada you can see this and it's really it's really uh, uh spectacular to see the, the the night sky in uh in in canada at night so canada for me has a lot of um outdoor beauty outdoor environment it's really beautiful to be outside in canada uh, and that's the end of our that's our the share. end already that's the end already i wish already. i could have stayed for more well we're gonna get back here and uh there you are again so we've we've uh, watched some uh hey, there we are yes oh you you know what you know what i'm gonna say daniel you're the most handsome student during no, this lesson. No, yeah. no you are you you've got the style you've got the look You've got the dog. You got style. the shirt. You look like your. Do you look like your mom or your dad? Do you look like Mr. Paul or Miss Nikmato Rosita? I think look I look like, like Miss Nikmato Rosita. Oh, <laughs> you're Miss Nikmato Rosita. Yeah, I still have hair. <laughs> oh, you still have hair. Now you're going to be punished, naughty student, for talking to <laughs> your dad about hair. Okay, so um, we're having today's lesson, uh, a recap about Canadian culture, Canadian culture. And icons. And icons. Now, you know what? I think uh, these little mini lessons we're doing, we hope that you can know more about um, Canada, uh, the, some of the animals and some of the culture and some of the things about Canada. I really hope you've enjoyed this lesson, but I'm going to tell you, we're now saying bye-bye Canada, bye-bye Canada. Bye-bye. And we are going to go to Indonesia starting next week. We're going to be looking at, uh, if I can go back to here to quickly share, to remind everyone what we're going to be doing. We're going to be looking at Indonesian style, the village style or the city style. And then we're going to talk about the women, uh, the Indonesian women versus Canadian women. And then we will maybe even have uh, other lessons after that. We will go step by step. But I want to just remind you all that it's important to learn about something every day. It's imp important to learn some new and interesting things every day. And it's important to listen to me because I'm a teacher and my English mm -hmm. is very clear and it's important to share and I that's all I really want to do is it's to all, share. also important to read and practice your English when you can because English is a very important language which and can get you further in the future yes yes and it's also important Daniel to love your dad am I right yeah yes <laughs> It's important to say you are you love your dad. Am I right? Yes. Woo! Okay, that's it for today's lesson. Thank okay. you. See Bye -bye. you, class.